This day was full of tributes celebrating the life of broadcaster John Ward, the longtime voice of the Vols. He called games for the Vols through 30 football seasons from 1968 to the championship season in 1998. John Ward was a maestro at painting the action on the field. His familiar enthusiasm punctuated hundreds of basketball games and last night he passed away at the age of 88 after a long illness. 10 News anchor and UT alumni Beth Haynes joins us now live from campus. Beth, you had the opportunity to interview John Ward 10, uh, back in 2010, if I'm remembering correctly. I did, Robin and John. Um, it was more than a decade after he retired as voice of the Vols and stepped out of the spotlight. He was glad to be away from the spotlight. He had a shy side, but I was terrified. Um, I grew up in Athens, Tennessee, listening to John Ward. I first met him in college, so um, very nervous. I certainly prepared for that interview, but we had such candid conversation. I learned about his, his childhood. He too, like so many UT fans, grew up listening to Tennessee football games on the radio. His dad was principal at Tennessee School for the Deaf, and he watched as his dad interpreted those broadcasts of the game for the students at Tennessee School for the Deaf. He called him the great communicator, a better communicator than he was. I remember talking to him about when he his decision to retire. He said he had no regrets, that he deeply missed the preparation, and that sums up John Ward. He was a perfectionist and always a student of the game, and I also loved his advice. He had many opportunities to leave Knoxville, Tennessee, but his philosophy was, if you can make it here, good, stay home. We want to bring in 10 News reporter Sean Franklin. He talked to some of John Ward's closest friends and colleagues today as uh, they are saying goodbye to a legend, but also someone they knew very well. Absolutely, they did know him well. In fact, they knew him so well, they got to know him even when he wasn't behind the microphone. Four, three, two, one. Yes, yes, yes. Give him six. Vols fans knew his voice well. John Ward belonged to us. He was a Tennessee Vol. But John Ward, the man, was much more than a play caller. He was a Vol during the 1960s and 70s, when Vols games weren't televised all the time. All fans had was the voice of John Ward. There was no television. You know, there, there was no cable TV. There was, there, there was no internet or digital. Radio was it, and you had to paint the picture. Ward was an artist, and his masterpiece started long before he grabbed a microphone. You know, Ward was particular in what he did, and he would go to the games four or five hours before the game. He would go to the stadium, and, and he was there, you know, thinking about the broadcast. That hard work ethic was tempered with a big sense of humor. Current voice of the Vols, Bob Kessling, was nicknamed Kiesling. We would start telling the old stories, and we'd start talking about the old games and what happened, and not so much what happened in the game, but what happened on the road trips and, you know, with, you know being late or whatever. And, and we just had such a good time, and I cherish those moments. John Ward and his beloved wife, Barbara, once gave UT Athletics $2 million. She passed away last year. The entire state of Tennessee reveled in the fact that John Ward was our guy. More than a play caller, he was an inspiration. Vol Nation will remember forever. And you know, Beth, that's, I couldn't get over it. I really couldn't when I was talking to those guys today that knew him so well, that just his, his all-encompassing reach. I mean, the entire state knew who he was, and today as we mourn his death and remember his life, uh, that's just even more highlighted. So an incredible Vols legend. It's amazing how many lives he's touched. Yes. So, Franklin, we appreciate uh, the memories and the thoughts from his colleagues and friends. And even though a sadness hangs over Rocky Top, John Ward has left us with a lifetime of memories and certainly a deep appreciation for football Saturdays in Knoxville, Tennessee. Robin and John will send it back to you. Mm -hmm. Very well said. Beth, thank you. Coming up, we take a look at some of our favorite moments from John Ward's career. And right now online, you can watch the homegrown we did on John Ward, a vintage story with Bob Kessling and Ward, plus watch Ward's entire speech when he announced it's time when he retired. All that and much more at WBIR.com.